Those of us in the world of dating are warriors, competing on an often brutal battlefield. Hey, Alex. Oh, hey there. Donovan. Um, Donovan, yeah. yeah, right. And the simple truth is, some are just better equipped to navigate the terrain than others. There are the victorious, There are the casualties. I am currently neither conqueror nor victim. I'm, I'm neutral. The Switzerland of the dating world. I remain optimistic. Glad we're finally doing this. Yeah. My mom was persistent about us meeting, wasn't she? Shamelessly, yeah. Wasn't gonna take no for an answer. No, no, she wasn't. It wasn't always like this for me. This time last year, I had the perfect boyfriend. Every girl's dream. Handsome, successful, attentive. But that was then. And this, well, this is now. Oh, come on. What happened? The guy's wide open on a two-point conversion and he drops it. Unbelievable. Come on, I know. Right? So after Mr. Perfect left, I spent three months wallowing. Trust me, it wasn't pretty. Then I decided since I couldn't go back in time, it was time to move on. And I dove into three months of regimented training. And yes, by that I mean I studied dating. I felt like dating, like any other fine skill, is a discipline that is meant to be practiced and perfected. Um, I'll have the Asian salad. Some people may tell you that you should just sit back, relax, and let love come to you, but in my experience, that approach leads to a myriad of Saturday nights of Double Fudge Ripple and Jane Austen films. I'll take the steak, bloody. See that article? <laughs> yeah, I read that one too. Page 36, paragraph two, says at my age, I have a one in five chance of finding a husband. Didn't know that before I let a good one walk. Yes! Uh, so, Alex. Alex. Hi. Um, tell me, what is it that you do when you're not coaching football or watching football? Mm. Well, there must be something, right? Mm. Anything? There's this one thing that I like to do. Okay. Kind of my artistic side. Oh. Your touch brings me to my knees, baby. Good burns in my heart. Your love that lights up the dark. It's more, more than I can say. Sometimes on the dating battlefield, one warrior's forfeit can be another's victory. The search for love can be unpredictable, messy, and sometimes downright unpleasant. <laughs> you gotta get up there and try it. It's amazing, you would not believe the rush. It's like, it's like getting into the backfield and just damn, sacking the quarterback. <sighs> And the search continues.
But there is one thing that keeps even us wounded warriors in the battle. Hope that there really is a perfect someone out there for everyone. Or in my case, a perfect someone again. Everything was perfect, before. My old boyfriend and I were happy. We were planning our future. Then the phone call came. A premier Chicago firm was looking for some promising young talent in their real estate department. It was the golden ring he'd been working for. ago. What time is it? It's early. You're an evil sister, darling. So there I was, suddenly faced with the hardest decision of my life. Leave everything I've ever known and the town that I love and go to Chicago a thousand miles away. Or watch all of my plans drive away in a U-Haul. I hear he's enjoying the deep dish pizza. today, your favorite, so I'll see you at 10. It's a symphony, it's a vintage wine. They say it will come in time. us in business. So, you gonna tell me about last night or not? Or not. Almost having it all while it's disappearing. They hated it. You know, the problem with being a prodigy is people expect more. They hated it? No, no, hate is such a strong word. They, they loathed it. Better. I try. Two in a row. I mean, one bomb, one 
not particularly successful play. I, I can deal with Ben, but, but two is... This is quite the pep talk. Look, this is unproductive, okay? Get some sleep. Take a week off. Don't read any more papers. And then I need you to find a way to get us back to where we were. Three years ago? Yeah. I don't want to go backwards. Yes, but I do. Because three years ago, you were writing hit plays, which means I was producing hit plays. Three years ago, I was making money, Ben, but now I'm spending money, lots of it, and I would like to go back to making money. I, uh, I, I know you've got another one in there. What if I don't? What if all I had was that one? Well, I don't want to go there. It's... Look, you, you will figure it out. You will. Sunshine. How are you today? Grateful, lady. Grateful. I have got fresh air in my lungs, good friends in my heart, and in a moment, I'm going to have some great coffee in my belly. Yes. OK, I've been experimenting on this blend all week, so let me know what you think. You got coffee in this blend? Three different types. Well, then it's good. Coffee is coffee. Don't overthink it. Caffeinating the world is a public service, Max. It's a serious responsibility. That being said, I want a medium triple caramel dream with a half pump coconut and a third of the caramel. Did he order a cup of coffee or a wedding cake? <laughs> hey, Kev. Hey, how'd opening night go? Becky and I can't wait to come up next month to see it. Cancel your trip. The uh, play tanked worse than the last one. Come on, I'm sure it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Well, I got heckled by an 80-year-old couple on the street demanding that I get out of the business. How bad would you consider that? Yeah, no, th that's bad. Look, why don't you just come down here for a while? Get out of the city. Uh, it's tempting. Bring Jessica. I can finally meet her. And you can finally meet Becky. Nope. That's over. Apparently, I was more fun to date when I had hits and was winning Tony Awards. Mm. <laughs> yeah, sure, aren't we all? <laughs> The upside to complete failure is that it has a great way of liberating you from superficiality. I say that you take some of that newfound freedom, hop a plane, and uh, discover some new inspiration. Yeah, new perspective might be nice. Hey, I gotta go. Um, I'll think about it. OK, think about it. Later. Hey, Sarah, can I get one more pump of coconut? Thanks. Doth my eyes deceive me? Or are you actually awake before 10? My sister? Impossible. Rough night, Becky? You have no idea. Daniel Steele, all night movie marathon. Enough said. More cheesy romance movies? You do know you have Kevin. Yeah, babe, I am your cheesy romance. Yes, but you've never rescued me from a covered wagon floating down a rushing river. Mm, I was unaware that was required of me. Oh, excuse me. You so did that on purpose. Mm, yes, yes, I did. See, that was your perfect opportunity to defend my honor. The master is here. The master is late. Not to mention loud and obnoxious. Master, really? I believe you lost the Brewster War yet again. Yeah, don't worry about it, Eli. No one's beating her. Espresso just bends to her will. Well, it is an art form, but you can keep practicing. Uh, well, I'm getting faster, and she's getting nervous. <laughs> here comes Eli, super barista. Here to save the world one latte at a time. Don't you have a job to go to or something? That's one of the many benefits of being an executive resale specialist. Flexible hours. Executive what? You sell old junk on eBay. Vintage collectibles. It's a difference. Hey, easy, Tiger. Save some for the paying customers, please. You do realize metabolism is a gift, right? An unfair gift. What is this, like, pick on Becky morning? Yeah, stop hassling my girl. Mm. How was that? My night. Mm. So, how was your date with tall, dark, and muscular last night? Um, my date was unexpected. Unexpected good or unexpected bad? Well, he's the coach of a high school football team. Likes kids. He was the captain of his college team. Has leadership skills. Sounds promising. Um, did you set up another date? Well, he also has questionable table manners, and he couldn't remember my name. Your name is kind of odd. You're odd. You could give him another chance. Maybe he was just nervous. No, I'm pretty sure I got a clear picture of who he is. Just hoping I can get rid of it. Oh, 
on. You work so hard on this one. Yeah. Know anyone who wants a bunch of football stats on flashcards? Well, there's plenty of fish in really? the- Really? Well, there are. That reminds me why I'm here, practically in the middle of the night in the first place. You need to check your computer. You have a message. Do I even want to ask how you know that? Probably not. Kevin's gonna take me home. I already read it. So, what are you gonna do? There's nothing to do. Of course there is. Look, Becky, we've been over this. Well, let's go over it again. Okay, he left and I stayed. That's it. If that was it, why is he writing you a message saying he needs to see you? She's so stubborn, it makes me nuts. I have no idea what that's like. She keeps dating these losers, and she's wasting valuable time. Hey, you like to meddle in other people's hey. affairs. I, you do, I'm sorry, it's true, I love you, but I just, I think that you should maybe leave this one alone. Okay, well, instead of discouraging me, why don't you help me? I just think Donovan is a self-sufficient woman. She doesn't need yeah, help. Yeah, she's self-sufficient and alone. Besides, what about what I want? Doesn't that matter? Of course it does. Well, what I want is for Donovan to be in love and to have a chance at happiness. You know, like we have. And if you love me, you would help me help her. She just needs a little guidance is all. So what do you say? Are you my knight? I suppose I could dust off my shining armor. So, do you want to talk about what you're going to do about Patrick? I mean, there's nothing to talk about. He lives in Chicago and I live here. Nothing's changed. Well, maybe nothing's changed for you, but you might want to start thinking about what you're going to do if something's changed for him. See you tomorrow. You know that uh, adjustable rate mortgage can be a killer when it pops up like that. It can be kind of scary. Well, so can rock climbing with Becky, but you managed to survive that, right? <laughs> Barely, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, Donovan, I, I am a CPA. You can ask me if you need help. I appreciate it, Kevin, but I really just need to talk to Mr. Connor. 
He's usually very helpful with hiccups like this, you know? Mr. Connor's a great guy and a good banker, but it's an awfully big hiccup to repay. A thing I can't handle. But it was kind of you to offer. Thank you. All right. Hey, you, uh, you haven't seen Becky's phone lying around, have you? She thought it might be in here. I'm here now. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'll call you back in five. Hi. Hi. What can I get for you? What do you recommend? Well, matching customers to their perfect drink is sort of my specialty. Just need to know more about you. Interesting. Uh, well, what do you need to know? Um, what sort of profession are you in? Investment banking. Stressful. Long hours, too, I'd mm -hmm. imagine. So, caffeine. Um, spicy or sweet? A little bit of both. Or so I'm told. <laughs> ah. Both, okay. I... How about a chai? Sweet at first sip, and then the spicy really sneaks up on you. Best of both worlds. Ah, very impressive, Miss Turner. I'll make it. I need to practice. Uh, how did you know my name? It was on a request for an extension of your business loan. Um, why? Why didn't Mr. Connor show you that? Well, Mr. Connor doesn't own the bank anymore. My, my partner and I do. I'm Frank Miller. Mr. Connor sold? Mm-hmm. I'm sure he'll be in here to tell you himself. I know these small town guys get personally chummy with their borrowers. But you see, that's the problem. They base too many decisions on emotions and not enough on realities. But the bottom line is you're in too deep to get out. The economy has been tough the past few years. I know, it, it has been. And then you had that unfortunate timing where you had to replace the roof and update the plumbing at the same time. But you need to face the facts. You cannot afford to keep this place open. And I cannot afford not to force you out. There must be something that we can do. I think we both know we're just postponing the inevitable. Listen. I didn't come in here to close on you right now. Look, my business partner and I, we have some other stops to make. So uh, perhaps... Oh, right. Hmm. Now, I may not have the title yet, but that, sir, is an amazing chai. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, perhaps we can meet again next week, and I could explain to you more about the uh, foreclosure process. Sure. Oh. It's on the house. Oh, thank you. Mmm. You were right. This is the perfect choice. I got you a roast turkey stand. Donovan, are you okay? Yeah, fine. Who was that? Just another satisfied customer. Good. Hopefully he'll be back then. He'll be back. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! Do, do I know you? What are the odds of fellow New Yorker? Benjamin Carson, the uh, playwright. I love your work, I love it. Thank you. What's a guy like you doing in a town like this? I hope so. Oh, wait, 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 let me guess, let me guess. Research for your next big hit. Listen, investment banking's just my day job. I'm a playwright, too. I've had the best idea for years. Oh, uh... Really? I got to page 30 in 97. That's it, I'm stuck. But, you know, it's been gestating ever since. I'm like a fine wine, it's just getting better. Is that right? Who are those guys? Nobody. Is there something you want to talk about? Nope. 
We should do lunch. Yeah. Yeah, people, people gotta eat. Yeah, we should be good. Excuse me, I gotta take it. Hey, it was a pleasure meeting you. It's good to meet you as well. Real, real treat. Hello? Yeah, guess who I just met? Benjamin Carson, the playwright. Yeah, I just met him and you did it. Wow, he's shady. Definitely not the adjective I was looking for. Hi. What can I get you? Yeah, um, just gonna check out the menu for a second. So you're from out of town? Yeah, I just got here actually. Hmm. Same town as your friend you were talking to outside, the one in the suit? Actually, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Business partners? Uh, uh, if he has his way, we will be. Right. Mm, I will have a cup of the Darjeeling. Donovan's coffee. Mm. Ben's tea. So you have something against coffee? Figures. If you must know, it can be a bit bitter for my taste. Bitter? I think the correct term is acidic, Ben. No, I definitely meant better. Do you need some help here? I don't know, Ben. Do I need help here? I mean, you should know, right? I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, and I'd start by switching to decaf. You city types are all the same. Arrogant. Seriously? It seems like you're the one that's a little arrogant, expecting people to kiss the coffee grounds you walk on. Okay, you can have this one. Get you. Love some tea. Some tea would be nice. Okay. Hey, big sister, what you doing? You would not believe the day I just had. Uh, yeah. Did you know that dodging squirrels on a scooter is not safe? Yeah, me neither. Hey, Bex, can you hand me a Phillips screwdriver, please? Uh, what happened today? What didn't happen? Where? Where are you? I'm walking home. What? Before closing time? When was the last time you did that? I don't know. Never. Talk to me. Hey, man. What are you up to? Oh, uh, just fixing a scooter. Just wanted to let you know I'm here in town at that Donovan's place you told me about. No way. You're here. Your day was ruined because a guy ordered tea? Well, no, not exactly. Look, it's not that simple. He... <laughs> He called me bitter, Becky. Can you believe that? Me, bitter? No, not you. Yeah, uh, this place has a great vibe. Except for one of the employees, too much espresso, I guess. Really? Yeah, if it wasn't for the other girl and the funny guy that works here, I probably would have left already. Oh, well, uh, what are you doing? Uh, we are at the beach, stuck. Look, do you want to just kick back tonight? Have dinner? You, you want to get together later? Dinner tonight, Donovan? I don't know. Yeah, my place. Kevin says 7 o'clock at his place. Yeah. Bye. All right, we'll see you there. Sounds good, man. Talk to you later. What are you so happy about? Who is that? That was my buddy Ben from college. I love it when a plan comes together. What? 18. How's the tea? Uh, it's good, actually. I half expected it to have the faint taste of arsenic. <laughs> hey, don't mind Donovan. She's actually pretty cool. I just, I think she's having a bad day. Oh, she hides it so well. Wait, that was the owner? Yeah. You know, her life sort of reminds me of a movie. Yeah, like a horror movie. <laughs> nah, more like a romantic comedy. But I've never seen one quite as interesting as her actual dating life, though. Oh? Oh, yeah. She did some research on the whole how to get a guy thing. Now she has this theory that you should study for your dates. Study, study what? The guy. Everything about him, his job, hobbies. I guess so she can talk about everything he's into on the date. Uh, what about what she's into? I don't know. Yeah. All right, I gotta go. See ya.
Can I help you? Ben? Becky, great to finally meet you in person. Yeah, an unexpected pleasure. Uh, come in. Hey, there's the man. Nice to meet you. I, uh, you've met Becky already, uh, so that's good. I feel like I already know you. We are online friends. Yet I didn't see you post anything about a visit. I was a surprise, even somewhat to myself. Well, here I'll take this. Can Thank you me. excuse us for just a moment? Yeah. Okay. What are you up to? Exactly what you asked me to be up to. What are you talking about? Tonight was supposed to be a quiet dinner with Donovan to cheer her up. You asked me to help you find someone for her so she could be happy, right? Ben's perfect. I, I thought this up myself. He's funny, smart, creative. Untucked, unshaven, and unneeded. When I said that, I meant for you to help me get her back together with Patrick. Hey, you may have meant that, but that's certainly not what you said. How did you not pick up on that? Because you didn't say that. OK, so what? They meet and violins start playing? Is that your plan? Maybe. Let's just see what happens. It's a good idea. I had a good idea. Well, I guess we're doing this. I'll get that. This isn't happening. Please, tell me this isn't happening. Donovan, this is... We've met. You have? Yeah, this is the coffee lunatic that almost kicked me out. You ruined my entire day. By ordering tea. You really need to get out more. Hang on, we can, we can work this out. You do that. I need a little Debbie. Uh, Donovan, Ben was... Oh, no, just... I, I know why he's here. Do you? I can't believe you actually own that coffee shop. How do you stay in business with your particular brand of customer service? Hey, that's my sister you're talking about. Your sister? This is her sister? Okay, I think we're done here. Ben, do me a favor. Next time you talk to your buddy Frank, tell him I hope he chokes on his chai. I should go after her. Good job, honey. You had a good idea. Who's Frank? Ben is a buddy of Kevin's from college. Not who I thought he was. Really? Who did you think he was? Oh, hey, we were just talking about you. I'm glad you came back. Took some coaxing. Eventually, my curiosity bested my sense of self-preservation. Um. So, it seems that it's possible, Ben, that I may have uh, jumped to some conclusions that were inaccurate, and I may have um, inadvertently treated you unfairly. For that, she apologizes. That was an apology? Apology accepted. OK, now that that's done, who is Frank? The guy you were laughing it up with before you came in here yesterday. Oh, him? He, he stopped me on the street. He's from New York. He, uh, he knew some of my work. What work? Yeah, what do you do? He's a famous playwright. You may have read about him. I'm a writer. Broadway. Uh, he needed an inspirational place to write. I suggested here. I'm sure you thought it was a good idea at the time. <sighs> I acted like a complete psycho over absolutely nothing. You no, know, it wasn't over nothing. It was over tea, as I recall. <laughs> well, if it helps, I think think you've ranked free tea for life. Oh, if I know you, can I get that deal too? You have that deal. Actually, I was gonna try the coffee. You should. It's good. So I've heard. Okay, um, I can make you something and bring it over to you. That'd be, that'd be great. Yeah, thank you. So, admit it, been nice. He's not unnice. He's not bad to look at either. I didn't say he was. So you did notice. You're fired. No, I'm not. Fine. She must have been pretty young when she opened this place, huh? 19. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, she is. Not to mention smart, funny, beautiful. Yeah, not to mention those. Feisty, too. Very interesting. Yeah, you got a little. 
Mr. Connor. Hi, Donovan. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Listen, I'm sorry to hear about your health issues. I had no idea. I'll be fine. Yeah, selling the bank is not something I really wanted to do, but it's, you know, it's what's best for my family right now. I've heard the uh, new owners are being a little more aggressive in certain areas than I was. Yeah, um, Frank Miller told me they're foreclosing next month. Oh, no, Donovan. I, I didn't think they'd do that to you. Is there anything that can be done? Uh, they're not going to listen to me, if that's what you're asking. I I'm, I'm really sorry. Looks like you're getting a lot of writing done here. I've done a few pages. Don't you know pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work? Well said. Did you write that? You are good. I'm afraid Aristotle beat me to that one. So you think you're gonna be around a while, Ben? I mean, we don't have all the conveniences of New York here, but... Oh, cities, cities are, are overrated. overrated. Exactly. exactly. Um, I feel like I can think here. Check. Well, it's good to know you're going to write something new soon. I'm sure Aristotle will be relieved to have his quotes back. Is everything good for tonight, guys? I picked up the flyers this morning. What's happening tonight? You should come by and see for yourself. Maybe I will. Checkmate. And bring your wallet. It's only five pages. Slow down. It, it does feel good to be at it again, though. Yeah, well, five very good pages. I love the whole small town arena. Hey, uh, you know, Andrew was phantom in three weeks. You're lying. <laughs> You're right. Hey, call me when you have more pages to send me. Can't wait to see how this thing is going. Does tomorrow morning work? <laughs> I'm hanging up now. Did she come up with all this herself? After spending the summer there, yeah. She buys all the coffee she roasts from them. It's how they support their village. And then a few times a year, she throws a fundraiser. Excuse me, everybody. Please, please, can I have your attention? I would like to present to you all for one song tonight, the amazing Donovan Turner. Let's Hi. <laughs> um, I wanted to thank you all for coming out tonight. Your support in this charity it means the world to me. I know that. Um, Many of you had a chance to know my mother. She was an amazing woman, and she introduced me to all of this. She couldn't go five minutes without quoting the Bible, and she always reminded me that love is a verb. And that is what Brewing a Better Tomorrow is all about. And I'm so glad it's as close to your heart as it is to mine. Stars 
his own dance with me wrapped in your arms you'll be the band and i'll be the song oh kids you see that we to be as the shore is to the sea oh let me be your hand to hold your darling to kiss you when we're old that's good huh? dance with me incredible these people love it it's not so old saying it's a good thing then that he's back it's a great thing did you see her face it's definitely still there well that remains to be seen oh, i think you need to forget about the past babe but the thing with you and patrick was what two years ago well the problem is not when it happened it's that it happened at all he beat you to the top of that climbing wall by what seven seconds after stepping on my hand it was an accident sure it was the fact is donovan may actually have a chance now i mean with everything going on at the coffee shop, it couldn't be better timing. Bex, that's not exactly public knowledge. Well, Ben's not just anybody. He can be trusted. Can he be trusted? Yeah. What's the problem with the coffee shop? Jen? I can't believe Caroline's married. I used to babysit her after school. And my mom completely took over the wedding planning. Now, of course, she's got her sights set on grandchildren. Well, it's what she's wanted for some time now. Yeah, she has. So Becky and Kevin, they seem to be getting pretty serious. Yeah, I think so. You know, he... He seems to understand her in a way that none of the rest of us can. Oh, she certainly has a mind of her own. A trait of the Turner women. Both a blessing and a curse, right? Yeah. Captivating and confounding. I'm glad you came by tonight. So am I. I wasn't sure what to expect. It's really good seeing you again. It's good seeing you too. Can I drive you home? Um, no, I, I walked. Oh, I'll just walk with you. I think I can manage three blocks. Well, I guess it's good night then. Okay. Well, maybe I'll come out of the shop tomorrow. Yeah, I'll have a triple caramel mocha waiting for you. You remember. Some things you don't forget. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow then. See you.
Did he say he wanted to get back together with you? We really didn't get into that. Of course he does. He's a smart man and he knows what he lost. You mean why he left? Are you gonna see him again? When are you gonna see him again? Okay, if you really must know, he... He called this morning and said he couldn't stop by. I was gonna make him his favorite drink, but he asked me to meet him for dinner instead. See? He's a smart man. He's making his move, trading a coffee date for dinner. Your life could be about to change. Mm, she's right. So you want for your whole life to change? Things are already changing. Yes, they are. Good morning. Morning. Um, coffee or tea, even? Uh, coffee. Hey, you were amazing last night. I, I love your charity. I had no idea you could sing. Oh, thank you. It was nice of you to come by. What size? Uh, large, thanks. Hey. Hey. Patrick Cole, Frank Miller, nice to finally meet you, boy. Well. Have a seat. Thanks. You know, I have heard nothing but good things about you. You are really making a reputation for yourself up in Chicago. I really appreciate you meeting on such short notice, Frank. Well, I was just thrilled to get your call, and I am very intrigued about your plan to help Miss Turner. My guys should be able to work quickly on this one. If we can come to an agreement, can you meet with Donovan and me on Thursday? On Thursday? No, I'm leaving for London tomorrow night. Then we need to make this deal happen today. Works for me. Let me make one call to my partner, and if he says, okay, we'll clean these documents up, we'll be good. Great. You know, I got a quick phone call to make also, so uh, what do you think, about another hour? Uh, yeah, about that. Yeah. Hello? Hey, Donovan. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna be a little late tonight for dinner. Oh. I know it sounds bad, but trust me, when I explain myself, we're gonna love what you hear. Okay. Uh, so it'll probably be another hour, and uh, I'll come pick you up. Oh, actually, I'm already here, so I can just meet you. Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. And Donovan. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'd much rather be there with you right now. I'll see you soon. You again. Small towns. No place to hide. Not in that dress. Um, I'm having dinner. Well, with someone very lucky. Where are you off to? A uh, place down the street, uh, Lucy's, for, yeah. and I quote, mind-blowing lime gelato. My sister's recommendation. Who else? It's uh, too bad you got dinner plans. I'd ask you to join me. Actually, I just got a phone call. I have an hour to kill. Guess I could do dessert first. You might have to order for me. I'm not sure they'll even see me standing next to you. Somehow I think they'll notice you. It was an accident. I wasn't looking to see anything. This is bad as you say it is. I just wish you would trust us and tell us. I mean, I'm sure she doesn't want us to worry. Besides, what could we do anyway? I don't know, but we can't just sit by and watch her booze the place. She'd be upset if she knew we knew. I 
she on a date with Patrick? I don't know. You want to go talk to him? No. I'm sure we'll hear all about it in the morning. But they look cute together, don't they? Yeah, you say so. You could dress a little better. Actually used to be right there. I was only going to live there till I had enough money to afford my own boat and sail away. I miss sailing. Anyway, I had visions of playing at Carnegie Hall. You were that good? No, I could barely play chopsticks. <laughs> Guess I had a tendency to dream a little too big. You say that like it's a bad thing. Well, I mean, it, it can be. Anyway, my mom found me a half hour later, and I will never forget what she said. Lighthouses aren't there to draw attention to themselves. They're just there to shine. Her way of saying I didn't need to be so dramatic. I guess she didn't have that same conversation with your little sister. <laughs> no. <laughs> she seems like she was a, a wise woman, your mother. She was. You know, she could handle anything, even the most difficult situations, with such poise and grace. I always admired that. Anyway, I just, I feel closer to her here, you know? Yeah. What is this? Ah, uh, small town tradition. I had my first dance with a boy in that circle when I was 12. Really? Was it serious? Oh, very. Yeah. Four whole days. <laughs> huh. I'm not the greatest dancer, but I'm pretty sure I can match the skills of a 12-year-old. Since we are the only ones not dancing, do you want to dance? a very good deed. I'm so glad this whole deal has a happy ending. So we'll uh, tell her tomorrow. Meet at the coffee shop at 9? Your girlfriend is going to be so pleased with you. <laughs> I just thought if I could capture a small piece of it and share it, then maybe... It could make a difference. But, I mean, I was naive. The world certainly doesn't care about the idealistic notions of a small-town coffee girl. Why wouldn't they? I do. I'll meet you there. Okay. Um, I have to go. But thank you for the ice cream. Absolutely. The show's been sold out for weeks, and I'm gonna tell me how you got tickets. The man has to maintain a little mystery. You know, when I left last year, and 
you decided not to go with me, I thought to myself, there's got to be some reason why we're not supposed to be together. Hey, I thought I'd look back on things down the road and figure it out, but that's the reason we were supposed to break up. The thing is, it's been a year. I still don't get it. I mean, this, this still feels right. So, what are you saying? I'm saying, what if last year we made the biggest mistake of our lives and this is our chance to fix it? What color am I gonna wear as your bridesmaid? No spring tones, they completely wash me out. Um, we're not quite there yet. Yet. I like the sound of yet. So I ran into Eli and he said that you were with Ben, but I mean, he's a total flake, right? Cause I absolutely knew you were with Patrick. <clears throat> Patrick met with uh, the banker today about the coffee shop. I can only assume you knew about that. I may have mentioned your financial situation um, to him. Well, what was the meeting about? I don't know. He said he'd tell me tomorrow. Do you know? No. But I can only think of one thing. He's investing in the future with you. Oh, I can picture it now, you guys. Standing next to each other with matching aprons, serving up mocha, choka, whatever's <laughs> blissful. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Why not? Definitely fall tones. Yeah. Same as the new orange. Hi. Good morning. How was uh, dinner? It was good. Very good. Can I get your usual? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's nice to have a usual. That yeah, sounds good. Thank you. Uh, I, I brought you something. You did? It's, it's nothing big, but... Seems like you're the only one around here who doesn't have a mug of your own. I don't really know what I do and don't have anymore. Thank you. Hey. Completely. 
I trust Patrick filled you in on the details? Um, no, he hasn't, not exactly. I wanted to surprise her. Well, without Patrick here, this could have gone in a very different direction. I'm just so glad we could solve this quickly. I know. He was kind enough to get involved on my behalf. I don't know how I'll ever repay him. Well, that's the beauty of it. You won't have to repay anyone anymore. I'm sorry, this just doesn't seem real. Well, I assure you it is, as soon as you sign these. I'm sorry, who's, who's this uh, Thomas Kimball? His, his name's, wow, everywhere yeah, on here. He's, he's my client. He's the buyer, Donovan. The what? He was looking for some investments to flip quickly, so I convinced him to buy your property. And he got you a very handsome profit. If it wasn't for Patrick here, you could have ended up empty-handed. I have to say, your boyfriend certainly lives up to his real estate guru reputation. Just what exactly does Thomas Kimball plan on flipping my coffee shop into? Does it matter? It does to me. It does to me. You know, uh, crowding is a serious issue here when beach season picks up. Just say it. I told him the town could use an extra parking garage. He's buying the building next door also. A what? Yeah, it's a solid deal. Donovan! She does this sometimes. Um, she'll come around. She just needs some time to think it over. Quickly, I hope. I uh, would have gotten here sooner, but I don't run as fast as you. You didn't have to follow me. I felt like I did. You ever wonder why it always seems like they're building another parking garage? I never liked them. They're cold and impersonal. No one cares who you are or why or how you got there. They don't care how long you stay or if you ever come back. In fact, two minutes after you leave, you just get replaced. I, I guess I never thought of it that way. When I opened my coffee shop, I vowed I would never treat people like they were disposable. Now I'm the one that's disposable. No. Donovan, you're not. I'm not sure I've ever met anyone who's loved by so many people for the right reason as you. You know, I bought my coffee shop just before it was torn down. I worked so hard to transform it into what it is now. I wanted it to be a place where friends could go and talk and laugh. I honestly thought it was what I was meant to do. And you did that. That coffee shop has a way of changing people. It changed me. You know, you, you did something that so few people do anymore. You did something because you believed in it. But now they just want to tear it down again. I failed. No, you didn't fail feeling would have been if you hadn't tried at all. I feel like such a fool. Well, you shouldn't. But I know that feeling, too. I doubt that. <laughs> Go ahead and Google the reviews of my last two plays. But if they hadn't said those things, I never would have come here and met you. God really does work in mysterious ways. I know it doesn't feel like it, but I've watched you and you're gonna be okay. I'll leave you alone and let you figure this out. Thank you. 
And I'm, I'm glad that the critics didn't like your last two plays. If that's what brought you here. Me too. She sounded so upset on the phone. Yeah, I've never seen her pedal that fast. Ever. Patrick was just trying to help you. I know, but I just thought that if I... He had a different idea. It doesn't make him a bad guy. He does love you, and he wants a future with you. It's just a different one. Are you really gonna let a parking garage change everything? But it does change everything, Becky. Does it really? I mean, either way, you're gonna lose the coffee shop. He loves you. Time to think about it. I didn't take the deal, Patrick. I told Frank that I'd go ahead with the foreclosure and not fight with him if he could find a buyer who wouldn't destroy the building, who'd use it for something positive. It's just a building, Donovan. Not to me. I don't understand. My plan made perfect sense. Yeah, it did. On paper. Letting it all go, it's gonna be hard, but it's the right decision for me. Talking about more than just the coffee shop, aren't you? I guess so, yeah. Yesterday, Becky told me that you love me. I do. that you think that you do, but this all made me realize something that I believe deep down I've always known. That's why I was able to let you go before. This is just the first time I've been able to put it into words, okay? You love who you wish I was. Hello? Hey, kid, you're back. No, I'm still here. No, no, I, re I read the draft of new play you sent me, and you're back. It's going to be hit. I knew, I knew you had it in you. Yeah, I guess I, uh, I guess I just needed the right inspiration. Wow, that's a crazy world you landed in. Down there, you're certainly surrounded by some interesting characters. Hey, you made me a happy man, Ben. A very, very happy man. That makes two of us. It's just so unfair. For once, I agreed with him. I tried everything that I could. But in the end, there was just no way to keep it open. I'm sorry. You've got to do something. Now, you look here, darling. You know what they say. It's not what they take away from you that counts. It's what you do with what you have left. Thank you, Max, but I don't... Hi. Hi. Can we talk for a minute? No. Actually, I'm going to require a bit more time than that. 
Can you and Eli manage without Donovan for the day? I think we'll manage just fine. Good, it's settled then. Wait, what? what's settled? What's going on? Our first date, it started about a minute ago. We don't want to be late. I'm not dressed for a bit. Where are we going? You're perfect just how you are. Shall we? Text Kevin and make sure he has your back by seven. We've got a lot to do. We better move fast. Yeah. Is this really necessary? I know this entire town. I don't see how you could possibly surprise me. I'm a writer. I specialize in the unexpected. <laughs> huh? Do you sail? Not at all. Never been on a boat. Uh, but he can sail. Hi. <laughs> see? Unexpected. Thank you. It's amazing. Isn't it beautiful? Breathtaking. We need to talk. Can it wait? I just want to enjoy this feeling for a few more minutes. It can't wait. What's wrong? You need to see these. They were underneath a pile of newspapers on Kevin's dining room table. I don't understand. What is this? It's notes and pages from Ben's new play. His new play? Mm hmm Yeah, it's about you and this odd town. He's been laughing at you and using you this entire time. It was a good day. It was a really good day. Yeah, I knew my plan would work. Can you explain this? Explain what? You're serious. She actually studies for her dates. Donovan's a chronic overtrier. She has no idea people see her as totally desperate. Queen of Mayberry? I can't explain that. Really? How can you explain that? It's not what you think. Oh, that's right, because you're a writer, huh? Unexpected is your thing. Plot twists are your specialty. Well, congratulations. I never expected that you were a jerk or a liar. Would you just calm down? Donovan, if you just give me a minute, I What, feed me more lies? Get more material for your play? You know, why don't I, I just burst into tears? That'll be a great scene. People could tap dance to my agony, right? Hold on. I think by now I should have at least earned the chance. Earn the chance? Really, you've earned nothing when you used my life for a, a punchline. You're a fraud. Donovan, wait. You know, I thought you were genuine, but it's all just for your own gain. Go back to New York, Ben, OK? You don't belong here. How's that for a plot twist?
not sure I'm really up for going in there. If there's anything that's gonna make you feel better right now, it's in that coffee shop. You go in. Okay, I'll be right behind you. I just need a minute. Okay. You look more like your mama every day. I wish I'd inherited more than just her features. Looks like I could really use her strength right now. Tough day. You know, just because things aren't going the way you planned, doesn't mean they aren't going the way they should. It's a nice thought, Max, but you don't know the whole story here. Well, you're right, I don't, but maybe you don't either. After my accident, your mom came to the hospital to see me. She gave me that because I needed it then, like you need it now. Don't lose yourself in the temporary. No one has ever seen. No one has ever heard, and no one has ever imagined what God has prepared. Thank you. serving us all and giving up so much to do at Donovan. We thought you may be wondering if it was all worth it. We'll let you decide. I remember my first day working here. I was a complete disaster. Dangerous, really. But you were eerily calm. Anyone else would have thrown me out on my ear, especially after the whole fire incident. The first time I ever met Becky, she was sitting right there. And uh, I couldn't take my eyes off of her. He stared at me for days. It was a little creepy. But Donovan told me that he was someone special, and I don't trust anybody more than my big sister, so. In your arms is where I want to be. Accident. For a long time, I didn't know exactly where I fit in anymore. Then, one day, you invited me here. I never will forget the words you said. You told me that I belonged here. Then you handed me this mug. And for that, I will be eternally grateful. What you've built here, this family, can never be torn away, Donovan. Mom would be really proud of you. I'm proud of you. You wanted to make a difference, and you did. So
hold on. <clears throat> I have one more. Haven't you done enough? Not nearly. Hi, I'm Ben. Most of you probably don't know me. I don't have a list of life-altering moments that happen here like most of you. But I do have one. I told you. You don't belong here. Yes, I do. He wrote a play, making fun of us. Of me, actually. I read it with my own eyes, Ben. You called me desperate. But you didn't read this part. In those pages you found, you stumbled into the middle of a story when things are muddy and confusing. I didn't know how to write the end of the story until today. You, you said I was a fraud, and you were right. I wasn't with you, but I have been in my work. I used to speak from my soul. And then I began trying to write hits, write things I thought other people wanted to hear. And you thought you had to do the same thing to find love, didn't you? Become something someone wanted you to be. But Donovan, you're an original. That's what drew me to you. You're you, and you care, and it's real all the time. And you've taught me all any of us has to offer is what's inside us. That's what I needed to let out. I didn't write a play making fun of you. I wrote a play about falling in love with you. I fell in love with you in this place just like everyone else. You love me. Every stubborn, beautiful, frustrating, inspiring bit of you. to his word, he actually had a solution. A new hit Broadway play. From the very first moment I met Donovan, I knew she was like no one I'd ever known before. She was absolutely... Irritating and desperate? I wasn't going to say that. But you did say it. Let's see how he digs himself out of this one. Yes, I did say that. Maybe I even believed it. Until I got to know her. And then I realized we were actually just alike. Both searching, trying to be the best for themselves. Good on their own. But incredible. Together. together. It's a hit. You did it, kid. You did it. Oh. Oh. I see more Tonys. I'm gonna have to. Wait, where, where are you going? Have fun. You know where to find us. We open tonight. The critics said it was Ben's best work, full of authenticity and heart and surprises. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. Ben's advance check for the play was enough to save the coffee shop. Of course, I insisted on paying back every cent, but he had a different idea. Full partnership. This is our wedding planner. Nice to meet you. Remember, we want simple. Don't listen to her. A double wedding has to be extravagant. I'm thinking 12-piece orchestra, dubs. I started out thinking love was a battlefield, and the more armor and weapons I had, the better chance I had of winning. But in reality, the armor didn't protect me. It just held the real me in. Once I got rid of it, the story ended just like I think it was supposed to. <clears throat> what? It's time for 
increase the war right now. You sure you're ready for this? Ready and waiting. Oh, well, me too. I got you. Good morning. It is now. Are you seeing this? Something's going around. It's in the coffee. Welcome to Donovan's.